Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Mr. Kevin Davis. We are music, love, life. That was dramatic. With Welcome to another episode. We're all in black today. We are. we are. What does that mean? We didn't plan that, y'all. We didn't plan no, this. No, we, we didn't. What does that mean? That's that, that means your hotep has been awakened. <laughs> and mine there says are. actually savage. Did you see that there was a, there was a, um, I don't know, some some non-urban clothing company put out a, a, a little black girl in some clothes that said savage, and there were people that were upset online. And I'm like, that's part of slang now. We call ourselves savage. We wear, I sent the guy, one of the guys, actually Raheem Shabazz. Shouts out to Raheem. So Raheem? What up, Raheem? Raheem is our uh, extremely woke friend. Um, but I had to like send him like eight million pictures of African Americans wearing shirts that said "savage," swimsuits, shirts, backpacks, all kinds. We of don't stuff. say I don't say "savage" ever. My shirt says "savage" right now. Yeah, but you say "we say savage." I don't say that. Well, you're not black. That that could also <sighs> be why that conversation doesn't extend to you. See, "savage" is something I'm. I'm it became popular. It, it really. I think I have heard men say it, but I think primarily that was a female and a gay thing. Was savage. Now, the only time I heard it where it fits now is the Tank song. I can be oh. a savage. That one, I'll be that. See, I'll that's be that. what I'm saying. Like, I'll first, be that savage. That There's, was funny. I wish we could rhyme, we rhyme that back. But I can be a savage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that. Rocky. That's what I'm talking about. I'm beat it up. I, I don't like those lyrics. Can I? Can you talk to you like the mic? I, talk to the mic. I don't like those lyrics. Speaking of Tank, you don't like those lyrics. Who doesn't like Tank? What woman doesn't like Tank? I don't like. I, first of all, I like Tank as a writer more so than an artist. Okay, okay. I can't argue that. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna get. I went to see Joe this weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, Joe. I think Joe is my all time favorite R and B crooner. Joe's that dude. He really is. Like I think he could be number two to your Brian McKnight. I think that he has better mm. songs than Brian. Well, no, 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 no. But I think number Joe two. Joe is so close. He's so I'll close. I'll give that to you. He's, He's so, so close. close. So I was talking to one of my friends, Greg, um, Greg Smith, mm -hmm. manager, CSAC director, all those amazing so Greg, things. What up? And Greg gave me his top five. He said Joe was in his top five for male R and B singers. His other four, and I was like, okay, so who's the other four? Stokely with Men Condition. Yes. We're not yeah. going to argue that. No argument. Okay. Tank, which is why I thought of this. Donny Hathaway and Chris Brown. Chris Brown? Don't do Get it. Get the wow. fuck out no, of here. No, That's no, a... don't, no, no. Don't, don't be that way. We're going to compare Chris Brown to new, Stokely? Yeah, nah. because you, yes, you will. You will allow, allow new blood to come in there. That boy is bad. Chris nah, Brown is not, amazing. Nah, nah. He, yes, he he's is. not a singer like Joe and like Brian McKnight. And Are like you kidding? First, no, okay, he can first of all, sing. he just he doesn't. Is a great he's in right. a different, he's he's in a different uh age bracket. No, and, but, he, but he's doing everything. First of all, they don't serve as no, 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 anyone we're not talking over about 40. That. We're not talking over. about dancing and backflips and shit. No, I'm not. I'm talking about songs. Okay. And I'm saying that Chris Brown has made we're romance about songs, songs or singing. I'm talking about both. No, we can't do both. We can do that, both. His list didn't, didn't sound like both. It sounded like singers at his, first. His, well, you know, you know, Chris sing, sing. Stokely don't have a, a bunch of great songs. He, he doesn't. But he's, but he's dope as fuck on the ones that are good. Chris Brown is a right, great but singer. but Stokely's also been around... For Years. And he still don't have a, a lot of dope songs. He's got good. He's so got you're going. You're saying that this is a list about vocals. Well, Donny Hathaway, um, beautiful Joe, songs. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying if you're if we're going, but there, all those people have great songs. Who was the fourth person? Was it Donny? So it was, it was Joe yeah. Stokely, Donny Hathaway, Donny Hathaway, Tank, and Tank, and Chris Brown. Yes, mm. I, I'm gonna have to take Tank out of there then. Okay, I'm I would, gonna have to can, take Tank out. Can I put? Uh, um, he was on. He was on Black Street. Went solo. Oh, Dave. Ho Dave, Dave Hollister. Hollister. Dave Hollister. Dave Hollister. Dave Hollister is my number yeah, three. If we're guy. talking about vocals. I'm going to give you Dave Hollister. Dave I Hollister. Just, I just my... feel like Tank was not supposed to be in there. I would... I'm going to leave Chris Brown in though. Mm. Chris Brown is okay. Amazing. Can we can we interchange? You say Chris Brown. I'll leave Tank at five. Really, Tank? I, I just don't think Chris Brown is that great. So I you think, think that... Tank's vocals are better than Usher's? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't think so. You have, have you heard the song that he redid of Bonnie Raitt's? Do you think that Tank's vocals are better than Mario's? 
Yes. No. Yes. No. I can sing Mario. I can sing can. that. Mar- yeah. Tank, you I can. Are, you are confused. Mario is a beast vocally. He doesn't have the right packaging. P-I. No, Mario is P-I. vocally. P-I. That nigga nostrils too big. What is wrong big. with you? He has an unfair advantage. I'm going to bring Tevin Campbell back in. No, hell no. What? Tevin Campbell vocally. Tevin, Tevin Campbell should have been, vocally. but was not been. Um, he wasn't. He he should have been. Well, Quincy what, Jones what? picked a good one, but he just it what just happened. I don't know. What's well, you're the, talking about vocals. We're not talking okay. about career. No, vocally, well, Kevin Tevin Campbell was dope. He's better than Usher. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, better he's than Chris better Brown. Than um, See, I don't know. I don't know. I think Chris Brown has some great songs, a lot of them. Chris Brown had great vocals. Have you and listened to the first album? His, yeah. Now, he doesn't do that anymore because like that's not 10, what kids want. Yeah. He wasn't 10. 15. He was, he was older than that. 14. He was like 16 and very tall. Mm. He was manly. What does that have anything I to do with I want to say this? the last time that I heard Chris Brown like Sing Sing was probably the, um, what was that? Was it Fine China? Yeah. Yeah, the, the and that MJ still wasn't cover? like a ballad. Like that it, was it that was a cover. But yeah. yeah, Chris Brown is a strong six. I'm not. Who? I mean, ah, uh, nah. Hey, did you hear? Did you hear that. the Bonnie Raitt remake that uh, Tank did? I didn't. But I'm you didn't not, hear I mean, it? vocally, vocally, I've heard. I can't make I've you heard, love me if you don't. I've seen. Come on. Yeah, I have heard that. Yeah, come and on. I've, but I've I've seen Tank. Live. I've never seen a woman stand stand like yeah. if they're sitting down or standing. I've never seen a woman not buckle a, a little bit when that. There's a lot of room be, be, before Tank gets in there. Okay. Like we're talking about like first of all Brian McKnight, which yes. Greg was missing. Yeah. And then Joe. Joe definitely and definitely number one and two for me. Like them three. That, I, you can't argue those three. I would Stokely slide is Stokely freaking amazing. Down only because he doesn't have a lot of great songs. But we're just talking about vocals. Vocals, yes. Then he, he, Dave Hollis is my three. He's better than Stokely. No, not vocally. Crazy. Not vocally. Crazy. Nah, Crazy. better songs. Crazy. Better songs. Crazy. Not vocally. Crazy. Stokely is a beast. He is. He is. Like I don't know but, where he came from. No, let's not let's not discredit Mint Condition because I don't, have you ever been to one of their shows? Yeah, no, those I, dudes they, will just switch instruments in the middle of the show. Well, first and like, of all, I can't. I I am a Mint Condition fan, but I will have to be honest. There is a point in the show where everybody leaves the stage and Stokely plays oh, yeah. every instrument <laughs> on the stage, making it feel like the rest of them are unnecessary. He's like quiet as kept prince. For yeah, real. like he for really real. is. Yeah, he can, like he I can don't do understand what yeah. happened. I I like saw him and fanned out. I, I even like, like oh this song God. with him and uh, is it Kelly Price? Uh it's one of them big girls. Uh, I don't hey, know. Somebody, you know what I mean, his voice is just, he has a signature voice. Something about your mom. It's, it's, a, it's a great His signature voice. No, his, no, he's he's dope. But you said one of them big girls. I'm like, Kelly kind of is the quintessential. No, no, like, no, 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 no. Jasmine else? Sullivan. Stop it. Jasmine Sullivan is a beast. And we, and we, uh, I don't know what we call her a big girl, though. No, she's, she's not really known, a big girl. Yeah. She just, What's her name? Kim, um, Kim Burrell? Oh, that's a gospel person. Yeah. It don't matter. We talking about vocals. But but you said big girl. You can you can use when gospel. You, when you go into gospel, it's a whole nother. They all can sing. Like yeah, all them big girls. Can no, sing. they can't. Have you ever them been in a church sing? like this? Let us sing, baby. Let us sing. No, no, no. First of all, if you see a a a, a plus size, if you see someone a size sixteen or up, get up. Myth. She's going to blow. <laughs> if she has a, a lot myth. of bosom, <laughs> if she has a lot of bosom, the the music, right. the the voice is coming from down agree. deep, and it's gonna be amazing. I, I believe. And you know what? Actually, actually, come on now. Here's let me add to the stereotype. <laughs> Big people can sing, and they can produce. Big people be making the hell out of some beats. Nope. I, I don't know like about that one. I got one name. Producers. I got one name to shut it all down. Whitney Houston. Yeah, no, no, no. Real thin, yeah. and fuck all those people we just said. Yeah, up. that's true. I mean, she, but she was a she was a gift from God. I'm just Let's saying. get back to this list. Who's who's on your list? Top five R&B. Because okay, look, first of all, at the concert, Joe is amazing. Okay, but it was ready for the world. Tony, Tony, Tony. Which I don't want them to do any more shows without Rafael Sadiq. Like, oh no, you can't. They did. No, you can't. And I don't, I don't understand it. Dwayne Wiggins, I think, is a number two guy, but he's just not. It just isn't the same. Whatever you, he's, he's saying lead on Raphael whatever you want. Was it. Yeah, but and that was a good, has, it was good because that song was different. Yeah. But Raphael's the dude. Raphael it's like is 112 that. without Slim. No, nah, it's worse. <laughs> 112, they can all sing, though. But you know what? I'm actually offended that nobody's list is including Michael Jackson. No, Michael Jackson wasn't a great singer. Michael Jackson was my, the, the little Michael Jackson was an amazing singer. I'm that's done. that's when we had a conversation I'm about done. that. No, the little the, the <laughs> this nigga quit. He just quit the show. The, I think the kid I'm Michael out. Jackson. No, have you if you listen to the Jackson Five, that Michael Jackson was could blow everybody out of the box. Like he's he's taken over everything, but he never he didn't really do that later. I don't know about that. Michael Jackson. I'm not is, gonna put Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson is the number one performer. And then we of said R and B too. So we're talking about R and B. I just Michael feel Jackson's like King of Pop. before. Tank, 
there are some other people that can sing their behinds off. I don't know if it'd be Chris Brown, though. First of all, Chris Brown wasn't even up for grabs. I mean, hell, Avant to me can out no, Tank. No, stop it, no. Avant is like, it was, Avant was always the, the poor Diane man's R. Kelly. R. Kelly. Yeah. He was always poor man R. Kelly. So. No, he always. can sing out. He yeah. can he can out sing R. Kelly. Chica- now, he can't outright R. Kelly. First but. of all, Chicago is a, a smorgasbord of R and B though, for real. Like you got R. Kelly, yeah. Donnell Jones, Dave uh, Hollister. Donnell Jones. I mean, Tank. I'm just Avant. not putting Tank in the top five for singers, like songwriters, maybe. Mm. Singers. Okay, I won't. I, I won't put Tank in the top five, but I won't put Chris Brown there either. How can you not? I got Brian McKnight, Joe. How are you going to? You got to have to put somebody that has oh. been servicing the, the 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 people for the last twenty years because none of those names have been. Brian McKnight, Joe. Brian McKnight has not serviced I'll, us in twenty years. I'll let Stokely stay. Okay. Um, Dave Hollis. No, Dave Hollis before Stokely, then Stokely, and I'm I'm That's trying to figure crazy. out my five. Flip that, flip that back, man. No, nah, Dave Stokely makes that that crazy. hair stand up on the back. Yeah, of your but name. Stokely is like his, but his voice does acrobat. Acrobatics like Prince, like he's he's on some different stuff. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight you, but I just think that you know that's my four. I'm I'm looking for five. It's not Chris Brown, and I'll, I'll you convince me to pull a tank. Well, we I mean we gotta find Kevin. Can you can you can you jump in here? I he mean, said I, Michael Jackson, but I can't I can't I can't okay, allow that. Jump in again. Don't that didn't work. Come come again. <sighs> come again. Um. Of course, Michael Jackson is in my list because okay. nobody else said it. You want to and we it, said R and B. We did say right? this was an R and B list, though. Hey, hey, but I uh, know I think I feel like Mike did R and B, but he was pop because he was popular. Nope. No, but, hey, no, I mean you know no. he does the biggest, we're about, biggest thing. We're talking about okay. songs that are um, soulful. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dirty Diana was but not R and B. Well, you know what? I have to. I have to give. Personally, I lean towards the twin, the twins and Jagged Edge, Brandon and Brian. I love those For guys. Singers? I think it was dope. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Boys. Never mind. We're in a different class. Okay. I mean, this guy's in a different. He's over here in a mm. Jagged you Edge. Said Michael Jackson and then the twins from which Jagged twin? Edge. Which twin? Give us a name. I mean, we know which, which, which twin. There's <laughs> no, the other one. He said the twins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he said twins. <laughs> so both of them. You said it. I'm. You looking at me? But you said it. As if you're not from I Atlanta. I did say both of okay, them. Okay, Kevin is not involved. You might as well say Wingo. Kevin is not Hey, Wingo got them bars. You talk, we talking about vocals. No, right. you're not. We are. You're obviously We're not. We're talking about vocals there, on this side. You're not. You're not. <laughs> Never mind. No, hold on. Let me explain something. Jagged Edge is dope. Yeah, I, I like love Jagged a Edge. lot of their songs. But, but we're Cisco, talking about... I mean, nah, do you nah, know nah, how many people could go before... I mean... Cisco's before them. Do you remember Jodeci? I mean... Yeah, I do remember Jodeci. They were next. Then what? <laughs> they were after. They were next. <laughs> oh my goodness! Music, love, and life. That um, is. I don't even know. At this R&B, point, no, you, my R&B everybody, has street edge. No, all all the viewers are angry right now because Jodeci is all like my R&B has last street week. Edge. Last week, last week we were trying to figure out who was music, who was love, who was life. <laughs> Kevin is definitely not music. Oh, cut it out. Kevin, Kevin is, you're not. He's either love or life. I'm Kevin, hip-hop. you said <laughs> twins from Jagged Edge. You left out Jodeci, Boys to Men, Drew Hill, all them other people that. Yep. Let's sing them under the table. That, that's that's my picks. Okay. All right. Well, never I'm mind. I'm gonna find mine before you go ahead. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna find well, mine before you Yeah, we're gonna move on, but we we we're gonna invite people. Thank you, Greg, for the startup. I got a strong four. I, I I'm I'm I just I have four. I just don't have a five because I, I have to take the tank out. But I'm definitely gonna leave Chris Brown. Jesus help us. Mm. Um. <laughs> so you know what, Kevin may do better with this. Hip hop turned 45. Did you guys see that? Like there was like. Oh wow. Yeah. Like. I don't know what they're actually calling the the viable inception of it, but literally hip hop is forty five years old. Which I'm means sorry, hip hop is older Luther than us. Vandross. Yeah, shut it down. Yeah, yeah. shut it down. Luther. Don't Vandross. look at Kevin. No, I just don't looked, look at Kevin. I was I just looked at him because I wanted to see was was he even <laughs> close? Like, did it even come? It was like it looked like it registered. Luther, Luther's strong. Luther's yeah, strong now. Yeah, strong. Luther's strong. Yeah, and Luther is five. He's, he's top five. He's five. Been. But you know what's crazy though. That, I'm gonna have to push somebody else out because Luther has to go in there. <laughs> and see, that's what I'm saying. We do this shit but all I'm, day. But I mean, you know what? Freddie Jackson. Genuine. I, now, you t- you talking you about see, the, you talking about the nigga that stacked his lead vocals like ten times? You're not really serious though. You see, every, every time y'all go back and forth, we can do this shit for hours. I'm but gonna throw somebody else serious. out there. You're just joking. I'm gonna smother this shit. You're trolling. Come on with it. Come okay. on. Ha- no. Okay. Happy birthday, hip hop. Yeah, Kevin, let's get back to that. What's your first? What is your fondest memory? I saw people doing this on social media of hip hop. Like, when did you fall in love with hip hop? This oh. ought to be good. Oh God, really? When did I fall in love? This got to be better than your picks for R and B. Oh 
Oh, shut up. I got a bad one. Um, I got a bad one. I'm not going to be, nobody's going to, like, nobody's going to be impressed with this one. You know what? My One of my earliest memories was um, Bismarcky. That's so, okay. that okay. That video, I like, the, matter of fact, Bismarcky was the first cassette tape right. that I, I purchased. And did you say she's just a friend? Oh, like, that, that was your was, first hip hop? Okay. Yeah. Wow. That There's... was an early, early, I remember, like, grade school. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know if this was my first, but this is one of my fondest memories. I have a, a, one of my good friends from high school. Um, he was a, I don't know, he was on the defensive team. And I don't know what his position was, but his 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 goal or his job was to knock people down, right? So we would go over his house before the game, and he'd be getting ready, and he would put on X Clan, and he would have it blasting, and he would be like, "Sis, I'm getting ready to break some spine," and the X Clan and Boogie Down Productions would get him in the mood for it, and that's how I started to that's, that's how I was introduced to them with, with a key. key. <laughs> yeah, yeah. X um, Clan, Boogie Down Productions. Yeah, like uh, old, like that, that you know, stuff that I would never have been listening to on the radio. Poor Righteous Teachers. No, that's not. I mean, no, seriously, this was aggressive hip hop. Yeah. And then I had a boyfriend in high school that would listen to gangster rap on our way to dates. So we'd be going to dinner, listening to Spice One, <laughs> yeah. and I would be really Spice irritated. One. I'd be so I'd be like, this puts me in a bad True mood. True, got no love. He, I just, you know that, right? I just had to get, 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 get gangsta. I just, I couldn't take it. It was just too no, much. No, Spice One was, Spice was wild. Well, who was that? Because that you don't was know annoying. That you know, Spice One is. I don't like that. That was. I didn't like uh, the Spice One music. was previous to MC8. I didn't like that. Hmm, but what I, was I didn't like that either. But who I did like a lot was DJ Quick. Because he no, made he, the most amazing. His production is so underrated. You got like DJ Quick right now. I do. DJ Quick is that Shouts dude. Shouts out to DJ he's Quick. He's still that dude. He is, but yeah. he's underrated though. But his, I mean, he made the most. So this this boyfriend was like the. He was my musical teacher, and he would say, "Crystal, be quiet now. Listen to the production," because he would always have like instrumentals in there. Oh, yeah. Quick Groove. Yeah. Yes. DJ Quick teamed yes. up with El Barge for a lot of years too, and that's dope. Because El Barge is is the only. Falsetto, the whose no, voice no, never L, changes. No, no, is a producer too. Like they oh, hooked wow, up. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. No, no, they and they got some serious. Oh, stuff. I didn't yeah, know that. They got some serious stuff. But my first story, which ended up being a recent story too, was the very first time I feel like I I really got it and felt it was the message. My mom used to work at a hotel, mm -hmm. and somebody left um, an album, actual album, single of the message. I think it's Grandmaster Flash and, Flash and the Furious Five. Mm -hmm. Remember the message? Broken glass everywhere. Yeah. That song. So. Um, <laughs> My mom was like dancing to it or whatever, so I was, you know, I just it, the energy was good. The song like mm -hmm. mattered, you know what I'm saying? Not even a year ago, mm -hmm. me, my son, and a lady who was much, much older than me, a Jamaican lady, were talking about something hip hop, some kind of way came into the story. It was, it was at my mother's school. I went up and visited her mm -hmm. because she got Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, mom! Um, and so this old Jamaican lady, mm -hmm. me, and my son are all talking about the best hip-hop song. And that song comes up, and all of us knew it and felt the same emotion. Oh, wow. That's dope. And that was in 2017. You know what I'm saying? So That's that dope. song is, is a powerful song from, from even from one of the first hip-hop songs to yeah. 2017. It still yeah. has the message, still. Mm -hmm. But I would say the, the first time that I really felt like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is the genre, I was listening to um, um, a song... It started off. He was once a dove from around the way. Remember that? You know, remember what that? Are you doing? The easy. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here, yo, Dre. You know, remember that? Oh, okay, 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 all right. Easy E is was that dude to me back. I was like, what? Why? What have I been yeah. doing all my time yeah. listening to this music? Easy E was crazy. He cussed a lot. He said the most ignorant shit. Yeah. Talking about he got pussy in the freezer when he <laughs> when he needs some leftover pussy. Like it was like <sighs> it was just crazy. You know what was, what was mine, it, yeah. actually? Public Enemy. Like, because yeah. I had just saw Do the Right Thing, too. Like, mm -hmm. my, my aunt put me on uh, all of that, right? She started the whole tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> whatever. No, that's so, not bad. I'm going to let her have it. She came, did but, she say the aunt that came to the show? Yeah, her. Okay. Her. Um, Shouts out to her. But yeah, that. And and then Flavor Flav follow with nine one one as a joke. I used yeah. to sit there and watch like your MTV raps, yeah. all that, and I was like, okay, this is yeah, this is a lifestyle. This is a big thing. Like this is yeah. Like, I think Chuck D has, and I, I, it was amazing working with him years later. But 
growing up, like his voice had such authority. He's one of those voices that you hear and it's like you feel like you are in school, but it's just, it, it makes the hair raise up on your arms. Chuck, like, Chuck D had, he yeah. had dad voice long before. But it was cool though. Yeah, it was, but it was like, it, it fit the song, but it, it was penetrates. definitely, yeah. It penetrates through your spirit. Kinda, like I got to listen to this shit. Like a, like a baby <laughs> crying. I you know, you just can't right not now. listen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's one of those you playing around. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> Can't touch this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> you make you t- make you tighten up. Yeah, I always say like the voice of hip hop. Like whose voice do I think of when I think of hip hop? Chuck D is one of them, but also Q Tip because I I was just really really a huge I was fan. A huge fan. Uh, huge fan, tribe fan of Tribe yeah. Called Quest, and and their his voice to me just signifies the how good hip hop felt. Like there's a lot of people that f- can fall into that but back in the days when I was a teenager. Yeah, I mean yeah. he just before I had he just, status and before yeah. I had a page of, He just makes you feel good. It just it just feels good. And there's so many different people. Rock M too, his voice. Yeah. Yeah. I would say nowadays um Rick Ross has a, a good hip hop voice. I don't like his voice. I do. I think his voice is dope. I don't like Rick Ross voice. I, I think like I think hip hop sounds like Rick Ross to me. Mm. Right now it does. I think it's supposed like to sound it. no, I think I can't believe I'm saying that. I think hip hop is supposed to sound like Rick Ross. I don't. It's supposed to be heavy that's male. So weird. Like that's the kind of rap. I don't know. Maybe that's just the kind of I rap I like. like. But heavy I like commanding Jay-Z. voice, like not no. I would rather it sound like Jay Z. No, Jay Z's cool. I'm not. I don't I'm like. Jay-Z. I don't Jay-Z. like. Jay Z's not bad. I don't like Rick Ross's voice. You don't like his Ross is his just voice. heavier. I don't like his voice. Do you not like him as a person? Because like, even titties? KRS voice, I don't was like heavy. his titties, but I also don't like his voice. Hmm. But I, I dislike his titties more. When Rick, when Rick Ross <laughs> comes on a song, I immediately feel like it's gonna be a good song. Really? If I oh. now that uh, <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, Yo. it's about to happen. I do like right. the, the production it's about that he to has. Locker always room shit. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. You um, can't. I don't like it. Okay. Some of this. Okay. You can't. Like when Drake, when I hear when I hear Drake say, "Hey," I'm like, "Oh god." I mean, Drake, turn, is, Drake is mm, killing it. Turn it down. Drake I'm is the, killing even young it. thug. I don't like that. No, nah, it doesn't. <laughs> no. You know whose voice you I can't think, work out. To I that. feel like I like Andre three thousand. He's yeah. but yeah, but he's not really now. I thought we were talking about now. Oh, now, okay. Yeah, hmm. yeah that's rough because now I don't. Like, I'm not going with any of those other guys. Like Nicki mm. dropped a new album. I haven't heard it yet. Is it good? I've, I heard the single "Barbie Dreams." Of course, it. it everybody was. I going thought crazy that was over that it. was fun. That was clever. Yeah, but it's, it didn't look. I mean, I just wish her and Lil Kim would stop the foolishness. Like obviously, <laughs> like obviously, Nikki is Lil Kim. Nikki, Nikki actually needs to come out on stage yeah. and bring Kim out. Just yeah, like just JD say, man, just give her her props, man. I think I think Nikki is doper lyrically, mm-hmm. but she obviously. Got so much of who she is from Little Kim, yeah. and it's just foolish that this that this is a go back and forth and stuff. It just to me it makes no sense because without you know what a friend of mine and I were talking, and basically Little Little Kim was the first female rapper that was really like feminine. Like the other ones, you weren't really sure what side of the fence they played on. Early on, Salt and Pepper didn't necessarily, but they still weren't super feminine. You know what I mean? They were more hard. They were they were emulating men. Little right. Kim really was more of the first feminine rapper. Even though she was talking about sex all the time, she still was like a girly girl. That's why a lot. That's why she she blew up. And I think Nicki obviously got so much of who she is from Kim. It's just ridiculous. Now Barbie Dreams is dope, but. I, it's just weird that they keep having that issue. You know what I mean? And I feel like the issue is because Nikki just wouldn't give her her props. Right. And she should have. Yeah. Early on. They would it's be not, done with this by it's now. It's not a competition. No. Kim is 50. Right. It's not a competition. It's not. She got it. Like, you know, and now, you know, you're not going to have it forever. So she's going to be very upset when the next girl that comes around and, you know, doesn't. And it could be Cardi. It may not. I don't yeah, necessarily. She, I feel like she kind of felt like that about. A lot of people feel like she felt like that. But you know the difference with that? I don't feel like Cardi is emulating Nicki Minaj. I feel like Nicki is emulating Kim. I feel like Cardi is doing Cardi, which is why she's so dope. I don't think she's trying to be Nicki Minaj at I can all. I agree to that too. I give you that. I agree that too. Matter of fact, because I would say if Cardi was to try to emulate that, then we'd be like, yo, we already seen this. And it wouldn't work because yeah. she's not going to be able to pull it off. Yeah. But she's so into her own thing. I don't. I really don't think that she was... But I think Nicki obviously watched a lot of Kim. And Cardi didn't have to... Like, 
Cardi moved a lot faster than Nicki did. Nicki mm-hmm. kind of had to do some of the suggestive photos and stuff like that. that well, Cardi was a full-fledged stripper. Yeah. So she was already suggestive. Yeah, everybody seen that pussy. And Nicki was the only person for 10 years. So, I mean, it was people were like, okay, you're good? Okay, come on. You know what I mean? Like it was no, it, there can be no waiting period right. because we were so over overwhelmed with Nikki. But another thing, like, okay, if Chris Brown never acknowledged Michael Jackson, we would have been like, little boy, you know good and well, you're spinning and your voice that immediately paid homage. Like Bruno Mars recently paid homage. Like people, you know, for mm. Nikki not to do that, I think, and I, I think Kim is it, ridiculous it how she handles it, but selfish. Well, I just think it's foolish because it's so yeah. obvious. That's like, you know, like I said, like if like like boys to men not saying that they were influenced by New Edition. You can't possibly be a boy group and not have been influenced by New Edition. You're crazy. They influenced every black boy group after, what, 1980? So you can't yeah. say that. Anyway, happy birthday to hip-hop. Happy birthday, 45. Yeah. yeah. Hip-hop is old. Old as shit. Hip-hop is middle-aged. Hip hop is Jay Z. Hip hop's about to buy a convertible <laughs> and start dating a really, really young chick, like start a nineteen year old. Hip hop's gonna, hip-hop's gonna start having a, a midlife crisis. <laughs> you know yeah. I think it already has. Yeah, that's where we at. Mm. Well, you know what? Because you talked about a lot of a lot of strong women in hip hop. You talk about Salt and Pepper because mm-hmm. they was kind of the you know the li- the live aunties. They was the cool aunties. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's something that I I've noticed and. and Maybe you can shed some light if you know about it. I, I've seen a lot of women that are starting to boycott nail salons. <laughs> yeah. Are um, you are you aware about? I, well, what happened? And we, we you know, I guess we the are The situation just, and all that? Yeah, for 2018, I guess race is just going to be the overwhelming um, uh, variable. But there there's a video circulating on social media where these Asian women... Well, actually, a, a black girl comes in an Asian nail salon and she hands out flyers. And she's basically telling, and she has a nail salon, and she's telling the black clients in there they should be coming to her. The Asian lady, they attack her. <laughs> they they like beat physically? her down. Like physically attack her. I mean, she came in their establishment right. passing out flyers and, and they attacked her. And so there have been a lot of people saying this is how Asians treat us. But people have been leaving out the fact that she went in there passing out flyers for her salon. I'm kind of torn because I do feel like we should be supporting our own our own businesses. That's the only way we're ever going to get ahead. But I also am rational, and I realize if an Asian person stepped foot in a black beauty salon, because we're selling weave now just like they are, and she came in and was like, I'm not going to imitate. I started to imitate the Asian voice. I'm I was going to. I was, I was waiting. I was getting racist. I was Please like, that's going to be it. racist. Please but do no, it. seriously, if an Asian woman came in a black beauty salon. You want you now done? Come here. That, that she would get molly whopped. Oh, yeah. Like, there would be no mercy because black women are so. We are on the brink of. Of going off at any moment on our when it comes to our business, like we work really hard. Business, business. I'm talking about just walking around. That, that's your walking around <laughs> weight. But I'm just saying that that would be foolish. So I just so I so I get why. I do think we should we should um, patronize our own yeah. as they do. But I also think that our own should be up to code and should have great customer service. One thing I can say when I go in a nail salon, and I do go to an African American one sometimes. My house is in between two and depends on who has an opening. But the Asian nail salon, customer service, they may say bad things about me under their breath. I don't care. I just want my nails and toes done. When I go to the African-American one sometime, it's not enough people in there. Like it just, We just have to do better with our businesses so that we can hold each other accountable. You know, and, and I'm sure that there are other places where they are thriving because here we have a lot of great beauty salons that are African-American that are dope. We don't have as many nail salons, and I think we need more, but I think in all of our business, we just got to level up. Well, I'll say, I'll say this, uh, and, and I'm, I'm glad that you pointed that out too. I think it, it is professional. For those that don't know, mm-hmm. it, it is professional etiquette um, 
not to advertise your business inside someone else's. People know that. No, everybody knows that. That girl knew that because she went in people, there with an attitude like, "You need to come to my salon. You need to come to my nail salon." That that was the that was the energy. Right. Hey, even <laughs> even in a dope game, man, you can't come sell on this block or what unless happens? I gave you a pass or what happens, right? Kevin Something. is very hood if for today. some reason. Hey, man, he has like a I, black Moses I tried shirt. to tell y'all last week, it's in the blood. Okay, listen. All right, so it. it it's a territory thing. Right. Right? If you say you're working right here, yeah. you're working right here. That's disrespectful. Right? Now, if, on the other hand, some may say that Asians tend to come into black neighborhoods. Uh, oh, that's a good point. Set up shop. Do their thing. They don't give back to the schools. They don't give people discounts. They rarely, if ever, hire anyone from that neighborhood. Uh, so what? They're afraid of them. What is what? Right. What is that? What does that mean? They don't hire people from the neighborhood. and They don't give so, back. Who gives back? Zach's. When's the last time Zaxby's gave back to, to your kid's school? But if well, Zaxby's, actually, if Zaxby's, Zaxby's hire a bunch of teenagers. Shout out that, to John Sylvie uh, with Zaxby's. Actually, Zaxby's does give back. Uh, Zaxby's got good ice. That's about no, it. No, Zaxby's. No, no. Zaxby's has great there are salads. Two, no, <laughs> guys, there are two like Zaxby's, Zaxby's here, and we're gonna put them the, the the their information in our comments. There are two Zaxby's here in Atlanta and North Atlanta that do a lot for the community. They they help are out they a lot of nonprofits. Zaxby's because no, they're, they're, they're not. They're human owned by a very nice guy named John Sylvie, who is not black, but he does support a lot of our our um, initiatives. Okay. Man. Yes, he's he human. Man. Okay. Yeah. Yes, but no, seriously, I think that that's a good point. They do come in the neighborhoods, but I mean, that's because they know they're good business people and they know these people are When did last some stuff. LT Wings gave back to the community? I'll put it like that then. We, we're, not, we're not going to go as big as that. <laughs> well, that's, that's a corporation. A, a lot of businesses have been called to the carpet for how they participate in the communities or how they feel about their customers. Papa John's is definitely going through. But that's because he called someone a, a nigger. Like, right. That's the, it's, it's, that's PR. <laughs> and in, and, that's right, PR. but there's it's that not... in the NFL and because and it, all hey, these are all based that's on, going on right now. You are tying a lot this together. A, it yeah. is. From an Asian opening, going through the paperwork to open a store, who anybody could open a store in the neighborhood. I don't think that people, I, I think those are two different things. As long as you give, do good business, I don't think that you're out Do elevated. the Asians do good business? I yeah. thought they were kind of rude. They're not. I don't have no problem with them. Okay. I, don't, I mean, I don't right, go in there I, looking for friends. I go in there to get my nails done. Right. Well, because see, I'm noticing on my timeline that there were a lot more people talking about boycotting uh Nail salons And particularly Non-black owned nail That's salons That's because of the way That the woman treated The black woman And they're right. saying They don't want us In their stores There have been several videos Because it's like It's of, bubbled up There have been several videos Of Asians getting upset Saying get out of here If someone trying They feel like someone's Trying to steal mm -hmm. You know But I will I, And I hate to be The, the devil's advocate Because I don't want to feel like, People to feel like I don't support African Americans and our Because I do In our initiatives I get it but we, there is a lot of theft that happens in those in those beauty supplies. Why couldn't she have waited outside till the customers? She came should out? have. She should have. She put. The, she could have put the flowers on the cars. And you know, then she could have got everybody, not just the black women. Yeah, but I, but I think with cars, though, you don't know who's going in the salon and who's not. If you just waited just a little bit out off the curb, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Sit in your car and as people come out, hey, I just want to talk to you for a second. Yeah. You know, I know you just went in and got your nails done, but I want you to also take a look at this. Yeah, that you know would have been, that would have been the best and, way. And we got to support very, our own. In, in, fair, in fairness, that is pretty bold for you to be sitting right in front of the per Like, you my yeah. customer right now, mm -hmm. and you walk up. You know why she did don't that? Don't even acknowledge me. Right. But because she was talk Asian. To my customer? She would have never done that to a black woman. No. She'd have got Yo. her behind whooped. Even in the barbershop, when you come yeah. in to say, they have to ask, say, hey, yeah. brother, it's okay if I if I ask your customers if they want some, yeah. some socks and right. underwear. <laughs> some videos. Like, yeah, man, go ahead, man. Videos. They always got the videos. <laughs> <laughs> Barbershops is where you can. That's the, etiquette. Yo, yeah, that's etiquette. That's proper etiquette. It right. Is. Right. I just I want us to be all the way right. Like we I want us to be all the way right. Yes. So you we don't do. agree? So you don't agree with that we should support her just because she's part of our tribe? No. Neither that's neither foolishness. do I. I think that's ridiculous. But Kevin, I think you may agree though. Yeah, I'm a rock with him. Man. Okay. And I'm so is Raheem Shabazz. I still think No, no, I'm gonna say this. I think that she was wrong in how she approached it. Well, that's all that but matters. But if you want me to support them over my own, I don't I'm want you to do mine. that. I just want her to act like she has some good sense. But I, I think because if they came into first of all, we eat shrimp fried rice. I'm not okay? mad at her being and aggressive. And if there are, if there are, I think she could have handled it better. That's not being aggressive. That's being disrespectful. Kevin would pull her to the side later. Hey, you just got your ass whooped, but let me tell you why. <laughs> this is how we can right. do this next time. I feel what you're going through. I in want in front of them. 
in front of them, I got your back. But when I pull you to the side, it's because, look, I don't I see, just feel you like should, you knew I shouldn't have had to come do she this. She knew better than that. Because I'm telling you, she walked in there with the sister girl attitude. She wouldn't have walked out. And she felt like she could She'd do that back. because she felt like black women, a lot of times there's a feeling that another race is not going to buck up at you. Right? They know Kung Fu, though. Come they never do it. I don't know if the women know it. Man, you crazy. I I seen a motherfucker. They back down real fast. Be like, I don't want uh-uh, I don't want that. Okay, okay. You don't remember from uh, what was that movie with uh, uh Rush Hour when that lady kicked her foot backwards and kicked Chris Tucker in his that face? That was a very specially trained woman. That wasn't I, hey, just man. the average Asian. I'm not willing to bet that this ain't a specially trained Asian. <laughs> they just... did. They did go after her with the quickness. They were like, damn, she's taking Hey, they came from the back of that Chinese they restaurant. They did. Drones though. They man. did. I was like, yo. But I mean, if that's the case. They don't. They may not want us serving shrimp fried rice. You know, hey. I'm torn, man, because I, I I agree with Crystal more, I think, but I do understand Kevin's perspective of pulling to the side later. I just wish that we could pull him to the side before. I just wish that we would just we would just know better and do better. I, I just that's what I want. I yeah. just want us to know better and do better. Speaking of knowing better and do better, and women, because we came, I guess we're just on the sisters today. We had a we had a comment on our. Do you feel it? Hold on, hold on. No, we need to address are, that. Are we ganging you, up you, you threw you threw a shot. We need to address that. You feel like we're attacking women today? No, I just feel like women. We're just looking bad today. I mean, we're just oh you know, oh you're just, you're accepting the fact that y'all are taking L's on this particular. We're show. taking L's right gotcha. now. Hey, but you know what? With the L's, I got you back. Baby. He's gonna okay. pull you to the side. I got you okay, back. You I'm done with you. I appreciate. He's gonna pull you after the show, but I appreciate it. Right now, you and up. What's up? So we talked last week about uh, we talked we had a good show we had a great after show about Russell and Sierra and Future and I thought that we all really took the stance that you know congratulations to Sierra yeah. she did good we had a viewer or a listener um, that did not like the to- the topic and she was very vocal about it um, on Instagram Styles with Child underscore. She said, um, Music Love Life Show asked their followers if followers and viewers, if Sierra leveled up or came up, I must confess these questions truly irk me because they suggest women need to validate their happiness, especially when that happiness includes an uber successful man. The implications of these questions are ignorant, disrespectful, reckless, and downright hurtful. Sierra is a beautiful, talented, intelligent, goal-oriented girl boss. Her choices align with her own personal standards, for her quality of life, should that yield a come up? Great. But make no mistake, in order to do so, she had to level up in one or more areas of her life. Cur- currently getting to my best life on my come up by my way of choice to level up. Well, first of all, we have to thank her for her comment. Um, you know, I, I'm i kind of, t- I, 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 I understand what she's saying, but... Um, Did we say something different, though? I don't think we. I don't think we shit on Sierra. I didn't think so either. I think that she was just saying that we, we, that shouldn't even be a conversation. But I think first of all, if the conversation was, I've heard guys say all the time, if they got a better looking chick, they upgrade it, right? So I think the equivalent to level up, you know, with men has been to upgrade. And I've heard men say, especially in the industry. If they get a next, the next chick they get is going to be better. They're going to upgrade. Like I'm going, you know, I just, I think that that's just a conversation that people have when they're talking about breakups and what happens after a breakup. But I, I don't I, think it's sexist. I think it's unfair to have that stance on us because honestly, the the title, when you came up with the title, Kevin, you were, you weren't saying that any of us were saying it was a come up. That was just the the, the conversation that some people were right. having online. So it wasn't our but it I wasn't think, our, right. I think I think that she nah, was, she was it, lumping though. us. Like, I think she was lumping us in with that conversation but, because that was a very popular conversation online that people were saying, Oh, Sierra came up with the with Russell as opposed to future. And that that is a real realistic popular opinion. But I don't think it's any different than when you see a starter wife. They have the whole thing of the starter wife with a rapper that has a chick that his baby mom before he gets money, and then he gets money, and now he goes to the. We talked about that. Now he all of a sudden gets a blazing beauty. Nothing wrong with that. Dope. Do your thing. Lots of beautiful biracial people. But when it's specifically done. <laughs> After you get a certain amount of money and then you see beauty a different way, I take offense to that. I think it's no different than saying a woman leveled up to saying a man leveled up. He got a younger, lighter skinned, um, perhaps biracial woman. That, I mean, look at Kevin Hart. It's that That's a perfect example of people saying, I've heard guys say, you know, well, yeah, but his wife is fine now. You know what I mean? So I, I think that that just happens when people break up. And especially when people are successful, they tend to have the ability to get what they want. 
So <laughs> I just know one day. Well, no, I'm not gonna say that. No, Man, I'm not gonna, but you nope. know what? If you <laughs> bitter, a, it was a good beyond. It was. A, it was a moment. It. If, no. if you're a person who's bitter about their breakup, then you might just get leveled up anyway. Like, and and that person doesn't have to be lighter. They don't have to, you know, be more exotic or whatever. If you find another black woman. Just like the first one, and but let she me better. promise: if you don't have my as much example money, here, you it's Dwayne money. Wade. Okay, broke up with his ex-wife. She was in the middle of the street, shouting all the dirty things about Dwayne Wade. Right, call him all Ooh. wanted sympathy from the entire world because Dwayne Ooh. Wade was supposedly less than a child of God. But he got Gabrielle Union, another black woman, and she's Did supporting he upgrade? the fuck out of him. Absolutely, she loves the shit out of that dude. I've never okay. I, even when he had a, a child on the side. She supported him. Okay, hey. we can't we can't do that. Let, pl- please I need don't. a fist bump. Let's, please don't. I'm just saying. Let's please I'm don't use saying. this example. Let's she please don't. Exa- <laughs> she, please she, don't. As far as American standards are, maybe she's, she's not exotic. No, she's you're right. beautiful, but she was damn sure an upgrade. Yes. Woo. Mm. Um. You ain't see that one coming. I can't. I can't even go there I, because I, I just think that's a horrible example. He was married. He was cheating on his wife with Gabrielle. Yes, Gabrielle is the actress, Hollywood star. His wife wasn't, but his wife. Do we all realize that Dwayne Wade lived with his wife, his ex-wife, and her family when he was in high school because his parents were not were not supportive? So, mm-hmm. so he owes her his life forever. I'm not saying he owes her his life forever, but to be like that how much person does she get a month? An upgrade? How much does she get? Well, a month? not anything because I think he has custody of the kids. Good. So, she oh, probably, Jesus, yeah, just us. sit down. My God, go sit I, down. I, 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 oh. Mm. I mean, street, this breakups are just horrible. But they are. the person that gets hurt, I guess, ha ha on them because bitter people are usually just hurt. Like if you're, if you're dating, if your girl left you for Floyd Mayweather, you're gonna be a little salty. Yeah, you don't okay? have a choice. Yeah, you don't. don't have a choice. It'll be like Kevin's bitter. All right. I'll be mad. What, what's your point? I'll be mad. I don't, I don't get the point, point, point is that person is not a bad person because they're hurt. Because Who said bad. You said bitter, and she deserves what she. You deserve. Oh, he said that. Yeah, he said I didn't fish both. It becomes a. It, I don't think I didn't fish both. What did you say? Deserve. What did you say? You said I they, said, they I deserve, said but they're going to get upgraded anyway. I said that was an no. Upgrade in the beginning, and... you said if a person, the person that's bitter, uh-huh. right, they're going to get. I want to separate my fist bump. I did not fist bump. <laughs> fist bump. Man, see, I fist bumped the the idea that Dwayne Wade did a level up, and it wasn't what that our commenter said. You can't unbump the fist, man. I I, I did his knuckle one knuckle. I took one knuckle back. We still good though. We still good. We still good. <laughs> I I don't want to use that as an example. Of course you don't. I just think that's a really bad one. <laughs> when people are married and they they I mm, but that's them. People have a right to do what they <laughs> want to no do. Sense. That whole last twenty seconds yes, it made did, no because sense. Because I just think I, if you I, I, if you're involved with someone while you're still married to uh-huh. someone else, that's not really that's every relationship. You do not <sighs> quit your job. I wish you have more job. examples. Because I'm that's I'm a good sure. example. I'm, I wish I had more. I wish I had more. I wish you abundance. did too. I wish you did. Too. You do not quit your job until you have a new job. Stop it. Ah, <laughs> Jesus Christ! But I you guess, don't. Yeah. You don't start. You don't start working. How you? I guess. Okay, they look. Do. Everybody knows when you first start you go a job, to you got to get that that check on hold, like that period that's on hold. You're not getting <laughs> paid for that. You better start working. You know what I'm saying? You better have some terminal days or some terminal leave days or some. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this some vacation relates to your situation. Some vacation buyout days or something. You better have something going on. I. I mean. In a, in a perfect world, no. I, and Sierra did not do that. Sierra did the right thing. Her, you can have a clean her break. Future, yeah, her and future you know were what? broken up. I ain't got to cheat on you. I ain't do nothing. I'm going to just walk future, away. Possible. Have my shit. Her and future Level were not up. together. And then she moved on to Russell. And I do, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I understand what um, Styles with Child is saying, but I don't think that it, I don't think it's a fair assessment because I think that we do the, it even worse with, with men because not only do we, with women, we look at, okay, he has the money to buy her this, 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 and this. But with men, we just look at, oh, she's prettier. She's, she's got a better body. She's younger. Mm-hmm. Like, it becomes nah, very You know what? Let me, let me give you a very, here, here's a, a mature man's assessment on this. Okay. Right? All right. I'm buckled in. Okay. So what I'm going to say is that Sierra leveled up not because he has more money. Right. Or not because he's, you know, whatever, but he treats her better. Mm-hmm. He treats I agree. her better. I agree. 
Russell Wilson, she should have married him because Russell Wilson treats her better like a wife than any man has that done. I've ever seen. Bow Wow, 50, whoever. Okay, Bow Wow was has, young. Okay. We, he was doing the best he could. Hey, we all, okay. let's everybody don't, let's was don't young. Shoot Bow wow down. Everybody was young. I'm not <laughs> shooting down Bow Wow. He's a good let's guy. Let's leave him out. Right. Sierra, but 50, everybody was young yeah. and did some shit that they ain't proud of. I don't think right? Bow Wow did anything. With, with people we might, we may even <laughs> wish we, we were still on good terms, right? May or maybe wish it didn't happen, right? However, who you are now, yeah. Russell treated C- treats Sierra better yeah, than I anybody agree. I've ever seen her. Do. Oh no, I agree with you. That's a good point. So the level up is not it's not about money. That, Financial. That's, that's I don't not, think any. I, don't, I yeah. think that honestly, on last week's show, I think we did a really good job mm-hmm. about saying that all. First of all, all of us said she leveled up. Yeah. But second of all, it wasn't about money. It wasn't about being a football player and what he had compared to future. We may have it mentioned was that it was lifestyle. We may have mentioned, it, but it wasn't. But no, the, the, yeah. the, the, those the are the superficial things. And you throw the, that in the pot. Nonetheless, though, we the do. conversation is already out there. So right. when we talk about it. We're not fueling the fire. It's everywhere. It's already out there. Well, I think she was just saying that she doesn't like the fact that people have that conversation. But I'm saying I hope that she can see the the conversation. It really is. Because I know we talked about the fact that Russell treated her like a wife from the beginning. Future, from what we saw, did not. You know what I mean? I I mean, maybe, I don't know. But I think that after you get to a certain place in life, you realize you deserve better. And I think that she decided on a different type of man. They both have money. I mean, mm. you know, there's a song that, that song that she has out. I bet that um, Roxy wrote. You know, he, he can buy you can buy me a car. He can buy one too. Cool. They both have money. Russell may have more money, but future's definitely not hurting. But you know, you're definitely the the lifestyle that she had with future. And the lifestyle that she seems to have with Russell, it looks more like she's being treated like a wife. So I agree. That's a good point. If a man treats you like a princess, like a queen. That is the level up, as opposed to the man treats you like a jump off. She said in a very early song, I don't need me a basketball player. All I need is somebody that's down for me. Oh, you remember. Shout out to Adonis Shropshire. Yeah. 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 Right. Shout out to Adonis. Don- but she's, that, yeah, I mean. I actually okay. talked to Randy with Fat Cats that did that video. He did like a whole recap of the video. But you're right. I mean, that. that she was looking for her back then, or at least Adonis thought she was. Adonis was putting her, in, <laughs> he was pointing her in the direction because he knew she right. was going off right. the wrong Exactly. Off on the wrong tangent. I think we all agree that it was it was a level up based on just the human part of it. It was yeah. the money. I mean, she she has money. We nobody's thinking she's out here broke. Well, she definitely has a lot more now. Let's just say that. Leave it. <laughs> leave it to the so the funny. woman, the female. I'm gonna say it, the female saying. on the show. She's a lot more secure now. And you know what? In terms of the culture, I feel like like that's the the beautiful thing that I like about what's happening in culture now is that we're making it cool to celebrate each other mm-hmm. and to treat each other well. Right. I agree. Right. A lot more couples. A right. lot more families. Right. Right. Yeah. Are, are are getting um, yeah, like, exposure yeah, in the like culture. Yeah. Like how cool is the, that 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 um. Cardi B and Offset went and got married. That that is unheard of for young people, people that young mm-hmm. that are both at the top of their careers, and it was important for them to get married. And he was on oh, my wife. Now I'm not, you know, their relationship. I don't know what it is or what it isn't, but the idea that that he wanted to marry her and call her his wife, and they got married before they had their child. I think that's a great message, and I think that's not one that we've seen. I think that was that timetable. What do you mean? She's not Mexican, but she's. You- you know what? You continue <laughs> to that, preach this doctrine. That timetable. She's Puerto Rican. And you know how it go. No, we I don't. I like it like that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know how it goes. So that timetable. We don't know. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I do not agree. I vehemently do not agree. Okay. You said it three times. You don't agree. It's cool. <laughs> anyway, so um, is, just happy. is that all we got for this week? Well, no, actually, you know what? I wanted to read a, there was an article, but I, actually I'm going to save that for next week because that's that's going to take us into too much. It seems like I'm going to say this and it's going to sound weird, but it just seems like everything that happens, we are blaming the presidency for. Oh, whoa, what? Kevin, I know you have, you you want to. <laughs> Tell me more. No, he wants to, but I, I, yes. I'm, I'm fucking with that. Yes. What? So, yeah, Crystal, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes. I, just, I just don't think that, I think that every single thing that happens from Roseanne to uh, <laughs> anything else that Roseanne going crazy. Talk and that shit, people. girl. Talk that she, shit. Yeah. She, yeah. I got your back. He doesn't. He doesn't. He, I got your back. He thinks it's all Trump's fault, but I, I agree. Go ahead. I just think that Trump is not responsible for all this stuff that's happening. Maybe even none of it. Maybe even none of it. Yeah, what? I just, I don't. I don't. I, I, I went to see Black Klansmen, right? 
Spike Lee's okay. new joint with right. John David Washington, son of the honorable and illustrious and amazing Denzel Washington. Um, and and it's, it, that's the thank you for your service. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, the movie was good, but it, there's a there's a point. That I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it because it just came out. You know, Trump isn't. It just can't possibly be responsible for everything that's going wrong in our country. Like in this article that I want to, I'm going to say for next week, where we're talking about um, food being contaminated with, um, but with with spray with you know Hamas pesticides and things like that. This has been going on for years. <laughs> Trump. Just, I mean, come on. And the article is like, Trump doesn't care that cancer is... Trump doesn't care about Flint, Michigan. Like, Trump is not responsible for the... He is not the bane of American... I mean, it, it, we're giving him too much power. It's a it's a ridiculous story. Uh, and it almost feels I like fake news. Of course you do. I beg the difference. Of course you do. It doesn't. It I'm feels like why. fake news. I think I everybody it, just Crystal. enjoys to talk about... Trump yeah. and it's just like why are we even t- first of all I think he has less power than we even could possibly he doesn't know what he's doing good morning he's Crystal. getting blamed for now everything you woke. like it's stupid this is what real woke sounds it like I- oh god good morning <laughs> good morning I tell you you're woke <laughs> say good morning <laughs> I'm just saying I mean stars yeah. and bars here here, here, <laughs> here we go possibly Kevin here we go with the George boy how can he be possibly responsible for pesticides in fruit how? He can't, and you know he can't. <laughs> here's, here's how Trump is responsible for all of this Slow it shit. down. I see you slowing it down. Slow it down, Kev. All of this shit. You know why? How? Because if something happens in your house, whether you were there or not, you that, okay. still held responsible. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna backfire horribly because all of this that we've talked about was going on while Obama was in pres- was in was in the presidency. And we love mm-hmm. him and we feel like he could do no wrong. No, we don't. Okay, so so he's to blame for pesticides. Obama as well. Obama does plenty wrong. Trust me, so he, he did. Doesn't. So pesticides and all the the the, the he wasn't children. able to fix a whole lot of shit that was so, going. So, but why on. are we not blaming him? Why he are killed we a lot of civilians with drones. Why are we only blaming um, Trump? Because he ain't in office no more. We weren't blaming Obama. Him not he... in office no more. Are you kidding me? People still call Obama off. president. They hiding their he hands. Said, they throwing rocks and hiding their hands. That's cool. There you go. Now you. Hey, I did Speak what I me. could. I, I worked on some health care and shit. You know what I'm saying? Speak to me as an, in, as, as an intelligent man. Be that man. mature guy you Come was on. talking he was earlier. Come on. What? You cannot. You cannot. <laughs> we, we've had this show for a while. Before this show, we had another show where we would talk outside of the show. We would talk politics, just the three of us. I never heard you upset with Obama over any of these things. Never. Why? Never. Why never. not? Never. I didn't. Why not? Did you? Never. I never saw any posts on your so page I, I, angry. I, I have to be. Ah, curse you. But you have yes. to. Why do you have to be about Trump? Why? Then? What's the difference, though? You don't even hear me talking about him. I, if y'all but you bring just said this up. is the reason that Trump is responsible for Trump everything. Anymore. If that's the case, then we should have been having mm-hmm. the same headlines about Obama. But we didn't. That time has passed. Now what? <laughs> that's you not about, rational. Why you want to bring up no. old shit? It's not rational. Why you want to bring up old passed. shit? Hey, yeah. man, the time has passed. Look, if we wanted to hold, like, like, are we really going to hold Obama responsible? We can't hold Trump responsible. He didn't do this. You know this. what? Get, him, get Obama back in here. He didn't do anything. Hey, I mean, hey, look here, Barack. He won by accident. And now he's inheriting all this dumb stuff that he's gonna our country- win. He's going to win again. Um, listeners, he is. listeners. Mm-hmm. No, he's not. I don't know if you know this or not, but we actually do a live after show on Facebook, usually on Sunday nights. Yes. If we've missed Sunday, we're definitely going to be on Tuesday night, yes. though. And it's 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 not the show exactly, but we kind of go over some of the things that'll that'll tease you for the it's Wednesday like the release. Uncut. It's like the uncut. After we're irritated with the conversation here, we go into exactly. Yes. And as soon as we get done with this, right now we're about to go live. Seven thirty p.m. Right now, we're about to go live. On Facebook, of course. The, by the time you hear this show, it was yesterday. I mean, it was t- uh, last Two Sunday. Ago, right. But just check the calendar yeah, on our Facebook page. If you're not following us, happening. go ahead and follow us so that you can make sure you get the alert when we go live because it's a it's a nice teaser. And sometimes it gets even more raw. I would say. On and the we interact live. with the, we interact with the viewers or listeners. And also, if you have comments on the show, we appreciate Styles with Child um, leaving that message for us. Because actually it gives us good, good good feedback. You know, whether we agree or not, it's not important, but we appreciate that. If you want to tag us on Instagram um, or go to the Facebook page and leave a longer message, feel free to do that. Or if you want to DM us or anything like that, please leave us your comments. Um, again, especially if you disagree with Be Honest. Um, 
We'll still read it just because you disagree with me. Many people me. disagree with me. I don't mind. There aren't very many people that disagree with me. So. You're one of my favorite people, actually, and I disagree with you quite All often. the time. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm, you guys are both my favorite people, but no one disagrees with me, so I just have the popular vote. I just got your back, but when the camera go off, we're going to As talk. soon as we, we're going to fight her, she might be lumped up what in the, the she might be lumped up in the live, so go yeah, back, go back to Sunday. I got my and I'm ready to get it on. I got my Savage shirt. Come on, bring it. Oh no, <laughs> the Savage shirt. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, what am I going to do? If you enjoyed this show, make sure you share it with people and let, it, let everybody know about us. She's a savage. It says so on the t-shirt. <laughs> we, See y'all next week. Next week, yeah. Music Club Life.